Hey all, this is Ethan with Red Phone Zone, and uh, on Aaron's behest, uh, both he and I managed to go out and see Iron Man 2 tonight. Uh, and this, of course, after me getting a chance to watch Iron Man 1 on uh, uh, this afternoon, so I'm all Iron man up. Um, Iron Man 2, directed by John Favreau, starring, of course, uh, uh, Robert Downey Jr., as well as Don Cheadle, and, and various others, Mickey Rourke. Um, and I gotta say, it was a darn entertaining movie. A lot of fun. Um, anyone who really gripes about it sort of is not expecting what they should be expecting. It's Iron Man 2. So sort of the same way uh, I felt about Transformers 2 is it's really what I was expecting. So uh, is it the best movie in the world? No. Is it, you know, is it by any means, is it The Seven Samurai? Not so much. Uh, but it is a great movie. Um, Really, go check it out. Have a lot of fun at it. Really turn off your mind and just enjoy a good comic book movie is the best way to go. So, um, me and uh, the group, uh, group of people that went there had a, a real good time. Uh, there were a few points in the movie where, you know, you're sort of thinking, well, what are they, you know, wh why didn't this happen? Or uh, maybe they should have explained this more, but... Really, you just got to take a step back and, and look at it as a comic book movie, because that's really what it is. Um, very fun, very cool. Uh, it's, like I keep saying, it's what I expected out of a, uh, a good, just a comic book film. So, um, I haven't made up my mind whether or not it's better than the first one or not. Uh, I think we'll need a second viewing for that. Um, but it is a good start for the summer. Uh, if, uh, if you guys want to go see a movie that's just uh, entertaining go see it you know so far it, it's doing what it needs to do uh good flick really uh not much more to say about it than that uh we saw it on the imax here in uh in kansas city actually in olathe and uh saw it uh saw it there so we actually didn't see the uh the super secret uh super eight trailer that is supposed to be attached to it we did see some other stuff uh I, I gotta say, it really got me pumped up. The movie did get me pumped up for the summer. Uh, it's too bad, really, we're not getting a lot of superhero movies this summer, so we gotta wait till next year for that. Uh, it did get me really pumped up for Thor. Uh, it got Aaron really pumped up for Captain America. Uh, it continues the tradition of the Marvel movies, of, of at least the Marvel Entertainment or Marvel Studios movies, of giving that nod to the comic book fans, but not excluding people who are just the movie fans. So... Really, all in all, uh, good work. Uh, if you like the first one, you'll probably like this one. Uh, I'd say go check it out. It's a good stuff. Uh, it's it's a lot of fun. Um, that is my confessions of a movie snob for, of course, this uh, this very quick little brief snippet from the Red Phone Zone. Tune in, of course, next week uh, or next week Wednesday night, 8 p.m. Central, uh, on RedPhoneZone.com or or here on UStream. And, uh, or steer on over to my website, uh, gamershavenpodcast.com. Scroll down on the, uh, on the toolbar. There's Red Phone Zone link. You can actually watch us from the Gamers Haven server. So you can just go there, check it out, be cool. We're also on iTunes. Um, a lot of fun. That, that's, uh, but that's my confessions of a movie snob.